do you know about the Sierra program? Reckless mystery man you guys send in when you can officially send anyone else. The gray man. Ryan, how are you today? Good, how are you doing? Really, really good. We're gonna kick off with the fun part, if okay. that's okay. All right. I've got some photos yeah. of famous movie pairings. Best of frenemies, you might call them. Okay. Because yourself and Chris in this movie, had things been slightly different, maybe you could have been good friends, but mm. it's, just, it's not the case. It didn't work out for yeah, you guys yeah, in this yeah. one. So I'm gonna show you some photos and just your immediate reaction of how you think the pairings work, if you think they are good pairings and just your, your reaction to the movies and the actors. Okay. Is that cool? Yep. Okay, first one. I mean, what can you say? That's um, it's classic. I mean, my God, just um, one of the best. One of the best. Uh, That's their shared experience. Uh, they have a shared experience <laughs> yeah. with being within the Matrix. <laughs> this one was tough because they're actually not in a scene together. So a little bit of editing was needed for the photograph. Stars aligned, man. Yeah. The stars aligned. <laughs> the, the Matrix is right up there, but th this is the greatest action sequence of all time. The the LA shootout? The shootout, yeah. It's tremendous. Yeah, it's nothing like tremendous it. And if you saw that yep. in a movie theater, you'll never forget it. The shared experience here is like being two of the most loved actors ever. Oh my God, incredible. I was just watching something the other day that Swayze did all of his own jumping in that movie. All that stuff is... It's him, Swayze. He loves doing stunts. All the way. He was a, he was You'd a go, what's that? No, he was just, he was a legend. Absolutely. I love that film. Bromance, the, the, you know, the quintessential bromance movie, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, two Keanu films so far. Yeah, like that. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, amazing, a, there's a killer foot chase in this movie. Yeah. Yeah, shot with a really low, wide camera chasing behind uh, them. It's one of, the, one of the better foot chases you'll ever see. Oh yeah, I, that ru I mean, that ruined Chianti's for me before I could even <laughs> drink. It ruined Chianti's, fava beans, I've never, I don't even know what that is. I never went near them, and liver, none of it. No, I don't think, you, you won't find them on a menu, just it's impossible to order them without doing the he impression. Just decimated <laughs> <laughs> the Chianti business, did he not? Did he? Is it still, or was it, did it pick up? Maybe they, they did even better off the back of this. Really? Not but with I, me. No, not with me either. Yeah. Well, that, that's some investigative journalism. That's power. On the far side. Oh boy. Oh yeah. This is, uh, this is pr perhaps one of the most complex frenemy relationships. Yeah, in the movies. Yeah, film to film, it changes. <laughs> yeah, book to book, it changes as yeah. well. Yeah. I remember seeing this in a very, in like, in a packed house, and it was uh, the response to the movie was intense. Uh, um, so these these frenemies really, really instigated a strong response from the audience. Yeah, and this I would say of all the frenemy relationships, I also feel uh, much, so much. Uh, I feel so much more empathy for one of them as opposed to the other. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, one of the oft-quoted lines by uh, um, um, uh, my friends is uh, put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. And you know, it's, you, it's, it's just one of those you're like, yeah. okay, I know exactly where <laughs> You know where immediately we're going. where it's from. Yep. Oh my God. Yas Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! This was so dark. I remember watching this, thinking how dark this movie was. Um, uh, I saw it with my wife, and we were kind of going out for like an evening at the theater, and I remember getting to the end of it and going, "Man, that was <laughs> so cynical." <laughs> I, I watched it, rewatched yeah. it recently, and it's yeah. somehow more topical now, now than, than it was then. in like wow. the Seven or whatever it can be. Uh, you know, uh, an incredible filmmaker. So uh, I would assume that uh, his thematics uh, are, are timeless. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, this is two nights of the realm. Mm -hmm. I mean, when do you get that? Very special. The best nights, the best night pairing I've ever seen. Ah, oh, fun. Yes, this is a fun one. And I like that they're at the chessboard. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think this was, this is one of the great friend of me relationships in comic books, right? Uh, and uh, um, just like uh, each character respects the integrity of the other character. Um, it's, it's almost biblical. Yeah, I think every frenemy uh, parent should play chess. It's yeah. a perfect frenemy game. It's a good metaphor yeah. Yeah, for is. people being on an even keel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is the 
this is my favorite. This is your favorite. This is the, this because because a hero is only as good as the villain, and I mean, this town needs an enema. <laughs> <laughs> Prince soundtrack. Yeah. A giant purple beret. Yeah. Yeah. He killed people by. They laughed to death. Oh boy. <laughs> It's, All right. a, it's a classic yeah. friend of me. Yeah. Um, what to say about this one? Do you remember seeing this in the theater? Is, is there much friend in this friend of me relationship? Yeah. See, I think the Joker generally kind of loves Batman. <laughs> yeah, right. He loves having him around. Yeah. Because he needs right, someone he to needs. bounce off. <laughs> right. Whereas yeah. Batman's like it's a one-sided uh, yeah. friend. <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. he, he's a chaos. It's not maker. codependent at yeah. all. <laughs> Maybe not anybody.